Hi, this is Monty from MPV and welcome back to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a lovely little Skoda 1.2 TSI um, Monte Carlo which has come into us. Uh, covered 89,000 miles, please don't let that put you off. You're looking at an eight and a half year old car. Average mileage anybody does nowadays is between 10 and 12,000 miles a year. So if you've done 10,000 miles a year, that's 85,000 miles, she's covered 89. So I know that will put some people off, but believe me, um, once you drive the car, have a look at it, you wouldn't think it's done that sort of mileage at all. Uh, two owners from you with a full Skoda service history. Now, why do I make these videos? It's all about trust, integrity. Um, I try and tell you how it is, really. Um, and please feel free to read some of my reviews on Auto Trader. They're genuine, verified purchase reviews. I'm a one-man band. Um, I only keep sort of 15 to 20 cars, but every single car I have, they're all hand-picked uh, and put. A, and I normally put about 150 to 200 miles on each car. Apologies, you will see cars driving past. Normally, where I have all my uh, videos done, it's over there, but it's absolutely rammer with cars, and I didn't want to do go over there. Anyway, so full Skoda service history, two owners from new. Um, lovely, lovely car, and I think it's just had two replacement tyres. Well, the MOT is up until um, January, I think it is, 2025. It was done by the previous owner at the Skoda main agent, and I think it needed a couple of rear tyres. And I think there might have been an advisory on there for rear brake discs. Well, to be fair, the brake discs are not that bad at all. Um, they're just, I think they put them down for a bit of pitting or something like that. Uh, but everything else is fine. I got the guys to do a safety check for me, they said they're absolutely fine. Um, but anyway, uh, let's carry on with the video. Now, in about the honesty side of it, and God knows what else, and you'll see a lot of garages now that start to do these videos. I've been doing it for about eight years now. Um, it's a quick walk around a car, and don't really tell you much about it. Well, um, in the honesty side of it, I will tell you, for 89,000 miles, you've got a few stone chips along the front of the uh, bumper, leading edge of the bonnet. It's to be expected, it's one of those things. I've touched up as many as I possibly can, but I, I don't want to drag you down here um, under any kind of false representation or anything like that. To you, the car's brand new, it's just come out of the showroom, it's not. So uh, that's probably the worst bit about it. <coughs> if I try and zoom in, you can probably pick some of them up around here, but again, <coughs> it's to be expected. Alloy wheels are in good condition. You've got a couple along the, di uh, the diamond cut bit like around here. A couple of little marks, but it just didn't, uh, I don't know, uh, didn't need us to have all the wheels um, diamond cut and repowder coated. That would add another £400 to the price of the car. Anyway, let's just show you inside. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a tickly throat. Look at that interior. I know it's not for everyone, but I think it's lovely. And that panoramic glass roof, that really makes it. Touchscreen infotainment system, everything you need in the car, and six speed manual. Let me just open up the back doors. That's where it gets a bit more garish, really. But I think if you're buying a Monte Carlo, you want to stand out from the crowd. I would anyway. New tyres on the back, I think I mentioned there. That's got brand new Dunlops on the back. Rear parking sensors. This really nice, funky diffuser you've got at the back. <coughs> A nice tray in there as well. Split folding seats. 60-40 split folding. All the back's really good. I've left it with the original Trans City Skoda number plates. I could, going back to the front, I'll show you. You can just see it starting to lift a little bit. But I uh, thought I'd just, for provenance, uh, leave the original number plates on the car. Electric windows on the front, wind up for the back. Bluetooth connectivity, uh, music streaming, air conditioning, adjustable height driver and passenger seat. It's all good. 
And believe me, she drives really well. No nasty bonk, clonks, rattles. This kind of really nice kind of carbon fibre effect on the dash. The black mirrors or the black accents you've got around the car really set it off. And there we go, that's our uh, 2015 or 2016 now? Let's say 2015 uh, Skoda Fabio 1.2. Um, this car will come with warranty included in the price. You can extend the warranty and it's a nationwide warranty. So you haven't got to bring a car back to us, take it to any VAT registered garage uh, that will undertake any warranty work. Anyway, thank you very much for your time and hope to speak to you soon. Bye bye.